way to be. I mean, dear God, if, if the social media space is saying there is only one way, then they're as bad as the, the kind of the broadcast one-way communication saying that there's only one way. There's, everybody has their own, um, their own way of doing things. And to me, it's, it's, if, as soon as we all do exactly the same thing, the world's an incredibly boring place. So there's definitely room for everybody to do everything. But for me in my world, what I love is the communication, the conversation, the interconnectivity. I'm from the UK. I have an amazing network of colleagues, friends, uh, collaborators, uh, inspirers all over the world. And I feel connected to them on a daily basis. I can have the random conversations because of something that they posted, which isn't what they had for breakfast, but is actually a much richer expression of what they've just done or what they're about to do. And that gives me that, that reason to then go and reconnect with them or to share that infrastructure with them, whatever that might be. Um, Douglas Rushkoff, uh, an American cyber journalist, writes about content is not king, but contact is king. And to me, the most beautiful creative experiences are the ones that are a shared live now experience. And to me, that might be through digital means or it might be through physical means, but it's about being in that time and space even if it's not geographical space, with other people that I know are feeling the same thing or that I can talk to about it afterwards because they, they were there. We might take the question just at the front here, um, and, but I'll leave you to ponder as we do. Oh, there's oh, one at the, the back and then at the front. You know, I, I wonder whether marketers, that marketers get a shellacking everywhere and you know the question I would have is do they deserve it? It's, it's a, a bit of a, a, they're a bit of a punching bag. Um, to the front. The, one of the things that's interesting in the work that we're doing with the baby small independent companies is the ephemeral art form versus the time that your art can exist in a digital space. And they're really, it's really an interesting thing to say, you know, the juice happens in the room, no question. The biggest impact is to be in the room when that live performance happens. But there's, you know, they're having to deal with the reality now that more people have viewed their trailer that is still on YouTube two years later than ever saw the actual show. And what does that mean creatively? Mm. You know, is that still an impact? You know, we as performing artists want to say, no, no, you've got to be in the room. It's about the live experience. It's about the transmission across the audience. But we can't keep ignoring the, you know, large audience that is seeing the work in an archival place or on a, you know, in a digital place. I think that we're beginning to grapple with digital theater and some of those technologies and saying, is there a thing that we have to do? Is there a call to us as artists to say, how can